Hey everyone, and we're here at Windows Report, and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows 11 activation error 0x87e107f9. As complicated as the name of the error sounds, the solutions are pretty simple. And the first one you should take in consideration is to run an SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, type the following command. Note that you have to wait a bit because the scan can take some time and afterwards simply restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run a DISM command. To do this, again press on the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window, simply copy-paste the following command from the description below and then press on Enter. As noted with the SFC scan, this scan can also take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, just restart your PC and then check if the issue is solved. You can also clear the temporary folder to prevent this activation error. To do this, press the Windows plus R key combo to open a run window and then simply type the following specification. Now simply press on OK or press Enter on your keyboard. The last thing you have to do in here is simply select all these folders by pressing on Ctrl and then the A button and then again press on Shift and Delete to delete all of them permanently. Confirm by pressing on yes, and once the files are deleted, just restart your PC and then check if the issue still persists. Another great solution is to run the activation troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and then on the left pane make sure to click on system, and afterwards on the right side scroll down until you find the activation category and click on it. Now in here, if you have any problems with activating Windows 11, there should be a troubleshoot category. So click on this troubleshoot category and then wait until Windows will scan for any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to reset Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery category and click on it. In here under recovery options you have an option called reset this PC. So click on the reset PC button next to it. From here on you just have to go with your personal preferences and then all you have to do is simply confirm the reset procedure. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.